Chemical reactors are the backbone of every process industry. Their design and working method decide how efficiently raw materials convert into final products. To understand reactors better, we classify them based on how they operate and how materials flow through them. Each reactor has its own structure, advantages, and industrial use. Chemical reactors are not selected randomly. They are classified based on how they operate and how materials move through them. This classification helps engineers decide which reactor is most suitable for a specific process. The two major factors used for classification are the mode of operation and the flow of reactants and products. Some reactors work in closed conditions where all reactants are added at the beginning and no material enters or leaves during the reaction. Others are designed for continuous use, where fresh reactants keep entering and products simultaneously leave the reactor at the same rate. Types of chemical reactor 1. Batch reactor A batch reactor is one of the simplest and most commonly used types in the chemical and pharmaceutical industries. In this system, all reactants are added into the vessel at the start of the process, and the reactor is then closed. No materials enter or exit the reactor during the reaction. This allows complete control over temperature, pressure, mixing speed, and reaction time. Once the reaction is finished, the products are taken out, and the reactor is cleaned if needed before the next batch begins. Because every batch can be adjusted separately, batch reactors offer flexibility in handling different recipes or formulations. They are highly useful for processes that require precise adjustments, long reaction times, or high-value products. Industries such as pharmaceuticals, specialty chemicals, cosmetics, and research laboratories prefer batch reactors due to their ability to manage small to medium-scale production. They also allow safe handling of sensitive, toxic, or unstable chemicals since the conditions can be monitored and altered easily. The operator has the advantage of stopping the process at any time if something goes wrong. Although batch reactors are not ideal for continuous large-scale production, they are excellent for customized outputs, testing new reactions, and producing multiple product grades. Their design can include jackets, coils, baffles, and agitators to ensure proper mixing and temperature control. Even though their production rate may be slower compared to continuous systems, the precision and control they provide make them valuable for many chemical processes. 2. Continuous Stirred Tank Reactor CSTR A continuous stirred tank reactor, commonly known as CSTR, is designed for steady and uninterrupted production. In this reactor, Fresh reactants are continuously fed into the tank while the final product is taken out at the same time. This simultaneous input and output allow the reaction to run without stopping, making it ideal for industries that require high volume and consistent production. The contents inside the reactor are constantly mixed with the help of an agitator to maintain uniform temperature, concentration, and reaction rate throughout the vessel. One of the major advantages of a CSTR is its ability to maintain a stable environment inside the reactor. Since the concentration of reactants and products remains relatively constant, it becomes easier to control the reaction and predict performance. This continuous operation reduces downtime and increases efficiency, which is beneficial for large-scale production in chemical, petrochemical, and wastewater treatment industries. It is also useful for reactions that occur at a slower rate and need constant mixing. CSTRs can be operated individually or connected in series to improve conversion and overall performance. They often come with jackets, coils, or external heat exchangers to maintain desired reaction temperature. The design allows for automation and easy monitoring of process parameters such as flow rate, pressure, pH, and temperature. Even though mixing is complete and uniform, the conversion per reactor may be lower than plug flow systems, 
which is why multiple CSTRs are sometimes connected in stages. Their reliability and ability to handle continuous demand make them a core part of many process industries. 3. Plug Flow Reactor PFR Tubular Reactor Plug Flow Reactors, often called PFRs or Tubular Reactors, operate on the principle that reactants move forward in a straight path like a plug, with minimal mixing along the flow direction. This means that the material entering first moves ahead faster, and the fluid at the inlet does not mix completely with the fluid at the outlet. Because of this flow behavior, the concentration and temperature can vary along the length of the reactor. This setup allows the reaction to progress gradually as the reactants move forward through the tube. These reactors are typically long pipes or tubes made of metal or glass, depending on the type of reaction and pressure requirements. Industries prefer PFRs for reactions that occur quickly and require continuous processing. They are especially used in petrochemical plants, polymer production, and gas phase reactions. The advantage is that high conversion can be achieved in a shorter time compared to some other reactor designs. Heat can be added or removed using external jackets or coils around the tube to control the reaction temperature. Since there is little back mixing, each portion of the fluid experiences different reaction time depending on its position in the reactor. This makes plug flow reactors suitable where controlled reaction progression is needed. They can also handle high pressure and temperature conditions and are efficient for large-scale continuous production. Sometimes multiple PFRs are connected in series or combined with other reactors to achieve better performance or selectivity. Their design supports automatic operation and reduced maintenance, making them an economical choice for consistent industrial output. 4. Packed Bed Reactor Fixed, Trickle Bed a packed bed reactor contains solid catalyst particles that are arranged in a fixed position inside a cylindrical vessel. The reactant gases or liquids pass through the packed bed and come into contact with the catalyst surface, which speeds up the reaction without consuming the catalyst. Because the catalyst stays in place, the flow of materials can be controlled easily, and the overall design remains mechanically stable. These reactors are commonly used in industries such as ammonia production, methanol synthesis, hydrogenation, sulfur removal, and petrochemical refining. They are suitable for operations where high pressure and continuous processing are needed. The performance of a packed bed reactor depends on factors such as the size of the catalyst pellets, the uniformity of packing, the flow rate of the reactants, and the pressure drop across the bed. Since the catalyst is stationary, heat transfer may sometimes become uneven if the bed is not designed properly. Engineers use distributors and support grids to ensure smooth flow and avoid channeling. Despite these challenges, packed bed reactors are very efficient for long-term operation because they allow consistent output, easy scale-up, and predictable reaction behavior in industrial environments. 5. Fluidized Bed Reactor Bubbling, Circulating A fluidized bed reactor uses small solid catalyst particles that are lifted and suspended by the upward flow of gas or liquid. When the velocity of the fluid reaches a certain point, the particles begin to move freely and behave like a boiling liquid. This creates excellent mixing, uniform temperature, and high surface contact between reactants and catalysts. Because of this fluid-like movement, heat transfer is far better than in many other reactor types, and the chances of hot spots are greatly reduced. These reactors are widely used in catalytic cracking in refineries, coal gasification, combustion systems, polymer manufacturing, and biomass conversion. One of the major advantages of fluidized bed reactors is that catalyst particles can be replaced or regenerated during operation without stopping the process. This continuous circulation improves overall production efficiency. The uniform mixing also allows better control over reaction rates and enhances product quality. 
However, careful design is needed to control particle carryover, erosion, and fluid velocity. Engineers must also manage gas distribution and bed stability. Even with these considerations, fluidized bed reactors remain a preferred choice for processes that require rapid reactions, excellent thermal control, and flexible catalyst handling. Chemical reactors are the backbone of every process industry, and understanding their types, operation, and flow patterns is crucial for efficient production. Each reactor, batch, CSTR, PFR, packed bed, and fluidized bed, offers unique advantages tailored to specific reactions, production scales, and industrial requirements. Proper selection and design ensure optimal conversion, precise temperature control, safe handling of chemicals, and consistent product quality. By mastering reactor classification, engineers can make informed decisions that maximize efficiency, reliability, and scalability, ultimately driving successful chemical processes in any industry. Subscribe for more sports and industrial topics.